Now, a little bit about these antibodies. So now, these antibodies can block the secretion of the thyroid uh, gland. So, when they block, we call it as a blocking antibody. So, the one the, in the middle that is what I am talking about, you are blocking the antibody and when you have a blocking antibody, you get hypothyroidism. The left hand side you have the agonist antibody. So, when you have an agonist antibody, they are the stimulating antibodies and you get the classical Graves disease or uh, thyroid disorder with ex excess secretion of thyroid hormones. So, the classical Graves and then these antibodies can change their function and become neutral and then you find that the patient can become normal. Now, what is the importance of this is that you can find that once you treat the patient with antithyroid drug, they become normal and over a period of time, one third to one fifth or one third to half of the patients can become hypothyroid over a period of 20 years. So, in other words, if Graves disease is at the right end of the spectrum, hypothyroidism, autoimmune Hashimoto's is at the left end of the spectrum and in between you can have neutral where the patient is having antibody positivity, but then they are euthyroid. So, this is the importance the same antibody can switch their function. So, what they have found in the pathogenesis there is an inherited reduced T regulator function. So, you can have an insult to the thyroid gland which could be local or it could be distant which could be an environmental factor viral etc. So, lead to inflammatory response, T cell cytokine secretion, MHC class 2 antigen expression, there is more antigen presentation and you develop an autoimmune disorder.